Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Shilpa Data Insights. In today's video, we will see the types of RDT. In the previous video, we have seen what is an RDT and what are the features of RDT. In this video, we will concentrate on types of RDT and we will do some practical. So let's get started. So there are multiple types of RDT. We will concentrate on parallel collection RDT, map partition RDT, Collised RDD, Shuffled RDD. These are the major types of RDD that we will come across in day-to-day -day life if we are working with RDDs. Then we also have co-grouped RDD, piped RDD, pair RDD, double RDD, and sequence file RDD. Go through each and every type of RDD that we have. So we have already known about what is an RDD and the type of RDD. Now I will be using the Scala in order to create an RDD. So the first major and extensively used RDD is Parallel Collection RDD. So how you can create a Parallel Collection RDD? I'm using Scala. So you have to just declare the Spark context, that is SC, and then you have to mention Parallel Lies. If you mention the Parallel Lies and execute this command, it is going to create an RDD first of all. That RDD will be a Parallel Collection RDD. So if you will see here, it's called Parallel Collection RDD. In this way, you can create the Parallel RDD. So this is actually distributed across all the machines, right? Because it is an RDD. Next, you can also do it in the Make RDD option. So if you see, we have a Make RDD. Similarly, using the Spark contents, you can create a Parallel Collection RDD with the help of Make RDD. Then comes our Python RDD. So if you are using Python instead of Scala, then you can use the SC, that is the Spark context with the parallelize and mention the list inside it. So it is going to create a Python RDD for you. Then we have the pipelined RDD. Pipelined RDD, once you create a Python RDD, then you use your flat map and check what type of RDD it is, it will show you that it is a pipeline RDD. Then it is the map partition RDD. Again, if you are using a Scala, you are using a map and you create a flat map split it by comma and then add a one, then it shows you that it is a map partitions RDD. Okay. The next thing that we come across is the shuffled RDD. When you are doing a shuffling basically of your data, either by a reduce by key or a count, a count operation or any kind of aggregation that needs the grouping or shuffling of data, then a shuffled RDD is created. So the shuffled RDD here is the one that is created because of reduce by key. So if in case in an interview you are asked the basic concept of an RDD, what is an RDD? What are the types of RDD? They will not ask you the direct question of types of RDD. So if you say what is an RDD, explain the features of RDD like lazy evaluation, immutability, the distributed framework, and also you have to mention the types of RDD. Mention few types of RDD. Then the interview will know that yes, you know the concepts of RDD, what exactly it is and how exactly it works. So I will go ahead and conclude this session. If you like this video, then hit the like button, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you have a good day.